Hello, 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 and welcome back to some Seven Days to Die, where I know I have not put a new episode up in a hot minute, and I am sorry about that. I got into trying to start some new series to grab some views, and then I was thinking about it, and I was like, I think I actually need to keep up with some of these um, series that I have going that might only get one or two views, because those one or two views are just as important to me as the ones that get like 30 views because those are the people that watch it like the moment it uploads so I need to make sure everybody knows that I appreciate them so it might only be uploading a couple times a week or I'm thinking I'll do seven days to die Monday Wednesday and Friday I am undecided yet so I think I'm going to get y'all's opinion on staying on single player and doing it or just recording on the multiplayer server that we have right now I'm trying to find our backpack since we got murdered last episode um, we are on like day 15 on the multiplayer server so it would be ahead quite a bit more than since when does the stuff not go in your toolbar where it belongs when you put it on uh, no I don't want those I noticed that earlier it wasn't um, when we were playing last night things were not going where I always had them in my toolbar when I pick up my backpack and they always did that before weird right so yeah I'm trying to figure out if I want to keep doing the series on single player or if I want to swap over and do the series on our multiplayer server a couple of things I did learn that I'm going to probably be doing oh uh oh I remember you now uh-huh yeah now I remember how I died stupid landmine um just to kind of help the progression I guess to where it's not going to take me as long to like knock on stone or knock trees down or break open safes to where you're having to watch for five minutes while I break open safes or I'm having to come back later after I'm done recording and trying to remember where the safes are I couldn't break open so if you're on single player or your admin on the server that you play on I don't know if y'all probably already know this but I just learned this so you can hit f1 and do dm which turns debug mode on and then you can do cm which turns the creative menu on. I don't spawn things in. That's not something I like to do. But for the sake of um, just speeding up when we're actually out looting and stuff, I'm going to grab me a couple of things that I have found extremely helpful to where it doesn't take 100 hours to get things done. If you hit U, you'll get into the creative menu. And if you go to this little dev blocks, on page 40, there's the dev super wrench. I'm going to grab that. I'm also going to grab the dev pin poncho because that will make weather no longer affect us and when you're trying to do a series weather every two minutes kind of gets annoying um not something like I said I normally do but right now I think just to kind of help it not be so grindy on the series because I just don't have the time to do all the hours and hours of off the camera recording uh grinding I mean you can also get the super digger which I'll probably grab later when we're digging up stuff. I need the clay in the soil, so I don't usually grab that. You can get the instant death pistol, which is one hit, uh, one shot to kill anything, but they evaporate or explode or what have you, so um, you don't get the loot off of them. Well, you'll get the loot if they have a bag, but like if you do it on a dog or an animal, you're not going to... Um, oh my goodness, I can't even think of words right now. You're not going to get the stuff when you harvest them. Oh my gosh. You ever have one of those days? Like, normally I have an issue with English every now and then, but today it's just been constant. Okay, we're going to go ahead and scrap our scone. Our scone. I should just stop trying to talk, our stone axe. Okay, and what the super wrench will do is that you can one hit and now it's open. So y'all don't have to sit here and watch me literally for five minutes bang at that safe trying to get it open and I don't have to try and remember that I did that or that there's a safe here that I need to come back to after the episode and then try and remember also to um, not open it until I am recording the next episode. It's just it's too it's a lot and I normally don't mind doing it but right now with trying to grow my channel I'm having to jump between so many different games. Ugh, that it makes it kind of hard to remember all the small things. Can I just 
jump off here? Okay. So let's finish looting the town. We were all looty-licious having fun with- I love this little town. I think it's awesome. Or did we already finish and then we died? Like were we on the last thing when we died? I don't remember. That's why you probably should have- That's why I usually record back to back because it is not easy to remember where I am at otherwise. Those are locked. So I think we had already done it though, so let's carry on. What do we want to keep? Let's it's too many choices. Leather we can get pretty easily. We're keeping the wheel. The food I'm gonna keep some of. I want the good band-aids. Ammo, forged iron. <coughs> Excuse me. Meat stew I want. I want the iron, the duct tape. Okay, I want all the stuff. So is that bad? I don't see anything on here that I don't want. Which kind of makes it hard when you're trying to uh, not be encumbered. Scrap that for now. Definitely want the water. Uh, let's grab us something to eat. Top that off. Scrap that. Uh, we can scrap the wrench. We have uh, another one. Scrap the level one pistol. We'll get the bullets out of it that way. I want to keep the eggs. I don't want to get rid of the water. The water is like crucial. I don't really need the coffee beans as much now because we have the uh, poncho on. Beer we will take. Murky water we will take. And this stuff we may or may not come back for. Oh wait, we don't need the cloth. So we'll take the... Um, we don't need bones yet so we'll take the glass jars instead. We don't need the rotting flesh. Oh, look at us. We're going to move like a turtle, but I don't really need the paper right now. Or the plastic. Or that. That I can get anywhere. Hold on, guys, while I try and figure out what we can and can't take with us. We don't need crossbow ammo currently because we don't have a crossbow. I'm not a fan of the compound bow, but they do sell really well. Like, look, $139. But I would like to not be encumbered. We're not going to need to make blue anytime soon. Let's put our nerdy goggles on so as we're shooting zombies along the way we can get more skill points. Yeah, I think that's probably going to be all we're going to take off. I mean, I don't need the bone knife anymore because we have the super wrench. So I guess we'll take that instead. And we might use it. So we'll put it put, put down. The money doesn't need to go down there. What else can... No, no, not you. You! I want here so that I remember to put it on. Okay. Now what were we doing last episode? Because I don't remember. Not, not... Wrong thing. Not even a little bit. So, I want... I know we have that base, but we do need to start working on the horde base. The airdrops, I've noticed, they're like almost always the same. So I'll go get... Actually, I'm going to mark it. So if it goes away... Oh, sometimes they just disappear. Um, I'm not going to spend the time going over there on camera. Or on camera. Recording. That's the trader. I guess we can head back to the trader. And then we'll go to the fire station. I want to find a better base. I want to actually... What we're doing on our multiplayer server... It's a lot of fun. We... Uh, my husband had the idea. We are... Uh, building a compound so we like took that dev super diggy tool gun thingy out that like digs holes and demolishes things in moments i need the feathers for more arrows and we like demolish an entire block so i think next episode i'll bring you over to the multiplayer server and just show you what we've done and how i made the horde base because i got to build that from the scratch for myself and that was a lot of fun and very successful too when we had our first horde so that was it was pretty crazy though horde night is crazy time and that one's on all normal settings like this one i have turned down a little bit just to it was turned down so that i could get the concept of the game i think i have it enough now that we're going back to the horde will be at seven days and all the normal settings so i will do that and have that all, all that fixed up for the next episode so we can start worrying on so we can start getting the horde base and stuff going. Okay. 
So for now, I mean, I could just hit Q and fly to the trader, but I don't know, that might be a little too pushing the envelope on gameplay and cheaty gameplay. You know what I mean? Not everybody can just fly to the trader, but I think for the sake of recording, being able to do things a little bit faster that are loot or building would probably be better just to try to keep y'all's interest because that's not so easy. Sometimes I think I'm doing a really good job at keeping people's interest, but then like the first video will get lots of views like in a new series and then very very few views anything after the first video which to me says I clearly was not keeping anybody's interest or they would have watched the second one too. Maybe I had that all wrong. I don't know. That's just how I think about it. I'm gonna grab all the stones along the way. Eh, I know. I know. It's so much to carry. Well, I'll take that. Ah, uh, I never turn down paint because when I build the our house I want to be able to paint it too. I mean, duh. Just makes sense, right? I don't really need these right now. I'm just trying to unencumber us just a tad. I don't really need the animal fat. I can get that pretty easily. The one glue, we can get that pretty easily and we can make it soon. Uh, we don't really need oil right now. But we will need it later. Bullet casings we'll need later. Not right now. I probably should have just left all this stuff in that chest. Paint, we're not going to need right now. So I'm not going to hold on to it. Um, vitamins, antibiotics, blood bag. I don't even have the skills to use that. So we're not going to use that right now. I don't have a magnum pistol. So I mean, I guess we don't need, I don't want to get rid of that though. Um, Help guys, what do I get rid of? Like, I don't want to... I think that's as far as I'm going to go on what I don't actually need right now. And it's not going to help us much, but... Actually, you know what? Do we have any skill points we can spend? Maybe we can up our pack mule. We have one. Uh, can we up pack mule? Nope, because we're on that death thing. And we need... Oh, we'll buy that. And then we might... Uh, well, let's see by one point. Okay, once we get another point, we should be able to add a little bit more spots for us to carry stuff. Now, like I said, if you're on single player or admin on your server, you can always like hit Q, which puts you in god mode, and then hit H, which makes it to where you can just run in god mode and have unlimited stamina. And it also makes you no longer encumbered. I don't know. I just feel like that's pushing the envelope on legit playthrough and getting a little too cheaty because so I want y'all to see all the content and all the game has to offer and everything like that but I don't want you to have to see like 30 minutes of safe cracking because that can become a very tedious and yes I have to pick up the stones because we need all of them we have to make tons and tons of cobblestone and flagstone and all the fun steps Use that to make some more arrows real quick. Okay. We are almost to the trader, so you don't totally miss that one. And you know what? I'm going to be grabbing these real quick while we run by. Oh, you'll have to give me just one second. I have to adjust. I have been batch recording today for like six and a half hours now, so. I'm starting to get to where I'm quite stiff in this chair. That's for sure. Oh, man. But I do it for y'all. I really enjoy doing it. It's kind of like Green Hell. You know, I've been recording that series, but it... I wasn't going to make it a series because it just doesn't get... But... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. One to four views, and that's just not enough to make it a series. But then after I thought about it, I realized not giving it a series because it only gets a few views is kind of like telling the people that are watching it their views don't matter to me, and I don't want to be that person. So we're going to carry on with the stuff that's not getting many views, too, as long as it's getting some views. 
And like the people that are viewing it are viewing it the moment I upload it. So I mean, they have to know too. They are appreciated. And their support is just, it makes me happy. The fact that they can, that they want to watch it the moment it comes out makes me happy. Because I like doing this. It's pretty much the only thing I can do nowadays. If you've watched my series or you know my story, then you know it's been a lot of struggle for us. So this is just a way to keep my brain alert and moving to slow down the progression of my brain disorder. So, and it might sound silly that video games do that, but it was actually my doctor that told me to try playing video games in my spare time because A, it will help with my depression just being at home so much. And uh, B, it will help slow down the progression of my brain disorder. And then I like the fact, I love getting a comment where I made somebody laugh, where I made somebody smile in one of my episodes because that's, it's, it's what makes it worth doing it. Like I legit had no idea doing this was going to be pretty much a full-time job. Like. That's it. It's a full-time job doing this, but it's fun, and I mean, I'm home anyway. Oh, that was kind of pointless to go over the mountain to go back down, over the mountain and through the woods to grandmother's house we go. See what I mean about this wrench? Like, I just got 36 logs and a seed that I don't want with one hit, so it's just going to speed up the process when we're trying to gather and get stuff going. Especially for the series. Now if I was like a big, a bigger channel I think and I had a lot more time to just play the games I want to play and not so much what y'all want to see, I think I would do a lot more of the behind the scenes grindy stuff. I just, like right now I think I have, uh, let's see, we have Miss Survival, we have Hold Your Own, um, Desert Skies, Stranded Deep, Green Hell. I know I'm forgetting a couple. And hopefully Raft Multiplayer with Drake will be coming back soon. I'm hoping, hoping that things are calming down and he's feeling better super, super soon. Because I love doing that series. It's like probably my favorite series to do. We have a blast doing it. So yeah. And then I might be starting a series on um, Spirit Animal Survival. That game looks like it's very promising. It has a lot to offer. So might start one on that. I don't know. But just know that if you're watching a series that I'm doing. And if it's not coming out for a couple of days. There's some. You can always go to my Discord page. I have a. Oh I always forget about that. I have a. Um, a not a group on it. What is that called? It's not subject. I guess it's called. I guess it would be a room. I have a room in there. Oh, where's the front door? That I put my uh, upload schedule on so you know when your stuff's going to come out. Like, Green Hell I wanted to do five days a week. But because of the views, I cut that back to twice a week. And that'll be on... I don't know if it's going to be Tuesdays and Thursdays yet. Or, like, Saturdays and Sundays. Like, I haven't figured out what two days I'm going to do that on. But, like, Garden Paws is one of my favorite games. That's not the right way. And uh, I hadn't recorded that in a good month or so. Where's the trader here? Why do I not? Oh yeah, up there. And I did one of those a few days ago. Just sometimes I have to cycle back around to that game, but I will continue it. You will know a series is over. Why did I not hear you talking, Joel? I will happily take that beaker. Uh, do you have any more jobs? Uh, we'll take that bitch. Sure. I'm not a man, though. Can I see your inventory? Would you like to buy some stuff, Trader Joel? Um, here, have some gas barrels. You want a compound bowl? There we go. And what else do you want to buy? Kind, sir. I need that for splints, so I don't want to get rid of that, because splints is something I generally need often, because I'm probably never going to use the steroids. Because I like to fall off things and break myself. Um. Got some steel arrows. 
at least get it out of my inventory. So one of the reasons I kind of stayed semi-encumbered because I needed to make some money with the trader. I don't really see anything else I want to part with. Here, have some beer. I'll probably never use that either. Um, yep, that looks like it. That looks like it. That looks like all I want to sell. Do you have anything interesting? Not really right now. Um, iron pickaxe. I don't need that anymore. How about do you have... Hold on, I need to see if he's got like an auger or a nail gun. I know we can find him, but if he's got one and it's not too horribly expensive. Oh wait, I think I can type it in here, can't I? Auger. Maybe under all? Auger. No. Nail. No. Well, then you really don't have anything I need absolutely horribly right now, Trader Joel. How do I get out of this? Oh yeah, I'm typing. Y'all come back now. You must be a southerner, Tradal Joe. Y'all come back now. You're here. Okay. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Sorry. All of a sudden, my throat is all insanely itchy. Okay, let's go. I'm thinking maybe go. You know what, what if we like just build our house like across from the trader? That's probably not a bad idea. That way we can do missions and stuff and be close to the trader. Oh, what do y'all think? Should we take over one of the houses that are already built and make that our house? Or should we build our own house? So I'm thinking building our own house sounds like a whole lot more fun. And I like out here because it's like out in the open we can chop all the trees down around us so that we have a really good um, view around us. Yeah, I'm really thinking that I want to do that. Oh, let's grab this. See if there's any... Honey! Honey, honey, how it drills me. Uh-huh. Honey, honey. Okay, what are we going to do now, guys? Um, I don't want to do back-to-back -back jobs for y'all on our series because that's just boring. I think maybe I think I think we might move over here like I think I like it better on the top side of this part of the mountain hold on let's look let's look yeah I really do I think that making us our spot right here I mean of course also we got to think of too how far are we from town? Because I want to be close enough to towns. Let's go check out this town over here. I want to be close enough to towns that we can go loot them. Like, I'd rather be, like, right in between a couple of different towns. And not so far away from everything. Grab the tree. Get our bow out. And Martha! How are you today? Oh, really? Well, I can make your day better. Yay, your day's better now. No more brains to, for lunch to worry about. Grab the stones. You know what's funny is even when I don't need these feathers anymore for arrows, I can't help but pick the bird's nest. Does anybody else like that? Like, I must have them. I don't need that. Must have them all. Okay, we got a skill point, so... Why do I keep going there? How is our food and stuff doing... Oh wow, it's pretty low. Uh, let's eat some pasta. I hate eating the canned food because it always makes me sick. Scrap that. Uh, oh, don't drink that. Drink this. Perfect. Um, let's see. We got. It's only seventy. That's not one hundred and sixteen zombie kills and one death. That's not good at all. That's like horribly low. Super duper low. Okay, let's buy one more pack mule. Oh, we have one more point left. Um, do we want cardio? We have healing factor, slow metabolism. I wouldn't mind living off the land because we need to be able to make our farm. Reduce HP loss. Let's get pain tolerance. Reduce HP loss by 5%, 20% less chance to get stunned. Uh, that's probably the best thing. I'm going to go ahead and clear these. Sorry. 
So yeah, let's go check out this town over here, see what it's got to offer. Um, so far it looks like a whole lot of nothing. Oh, I see some stuff up there. I just, I think I'd rather build our house, like, from scratch versus take over one of the houses that are already pre-built. I don't know, maybe I'm silly. It just seems like more fun. I think because we've got to building on the multiplayer server and now I had no idea there were so many building options in this game. It's like Rising World with just shapes and everything. Only there's, I think there's actually probably more in this one than Rising World. Um, this town looks pretty barren, so not a good town for... Well, we'll go over a little bit further. Grab some yucca to make some juice. Toby! Did you miss us? I know, it's been a while. It's my fault, I was busy. It was nice seeing you too. Um, let's get empty hands. I think the yucca juice gives you like 14 more water than water. Or 14 more hydration than water, so. I think that's what my husband said. Who has now become like the seven days to die pro. Some of the stuff he does. I'm like, wow, I didn't even know you could do that. That is pretty amazing. Uh, I don't know that I want... This is really hard. Picking where you live. I mean, we're go eventually we're going to have multiple bases and like multiple parts of the map. That's just how I like to do it. To where no matter where you're out doing stuff, you have somewhere you can go and uh, drop your things or create whatever you need because you got workstations there and yada yada. Does anybody else like doing it that way or is, am I just weird? My husband said I'm weird because he absolutely hates having multiple bases. Or I like to have, if I'm just going to have one, I want it to be like in the center of the map. Matter of fact, where are we as far as the map goes? Have we gone to zero zero yet on here? Uh, let's look. I don't think so because we're only on, oh wrong way, day two. I forgot we had to start over but I can't exactly remember where we were at. No, we have definitely not been to zero zero. Um. I'm probably going to drive y'all crazy, but we're going to teleport to zero zero because I want to see what's there before we decide where to build at. And to do that, all you do is hit escape and then zero zero is already there. So I just hit teleport. I don't know what most of these things. Oh, you guess you could change the date, the time. Also, when I'm recording, instead of sitting here for 10 minutes at night waiting for it to become daytime so I can start the next episode, I can seriously just make it daytime. How did I never know that before? Wow. Not feeling so smart right now. Okay, well I definitely don't want to be in this town. This is like desert and destruction together. Um, but those... I wouldn't mind having some of the blueberries to add to our garden. Once we get it going. Take all the foods. Nobody else needs it. I'm not actually going to take all these. Just enough to get us a small garden started. I think it's two for each seed. So, oh, I might end up taking all these. All the stuffs. All the stuffs. Oh no. Well, what you doing? What you doing, my dude? Other than trying to eat my face, because that's what you like to do. Uh, I want to get out of the desert. Uh, I guess we can just go... Let's head this way. And we can always come back here to loot and stuff, but... Uh, I'd rather live, like, in a green area. Which I think everybody chooses. I actually would rather live in the snow, so we might actually build out in the snow. That sounds like the best plan. I don't get to see snow anymore because we live in Texas and I have since I was 12. And it's not something I want to live around again, but it is pretty as long as you don't have to deal with it. <laughs> Literally like eight months out of the year. 
Because Vermont is like Texas in reverse. They have winters as long as we have summers. Now those usually have good loot up there. But uh, right now I think we need to find us somewhere to start building. Give us some good. Or give us nothing at all. Uh, I see something ahead. I just don't know what. Oh, now we're in destroyed biome. Or burnt biome. Is that what it's called? Burnt biome? Let's go ahead and grab some more arrows. Can never have too many arrows. Yeah, I don't want to be in burnt biome. Like, at all. Um. So, I wouldn't mind hitting up some of these barns, though, because the barns have good loot. Let's go do it. Let's do it. First, though, let me move that to where I can get to it a little easier. We're going to grab this stuff before we go in. And this and this. Yeah, I have found that the barns have great loot, so. I went from not knowing anything about Seven Days to Die, or even knowing what the heck the game was, to, uh, knowing a whole lot pretty quickly. Oh, crap! Scared the hell out of me. I hate when they do that. Okay, that's just a whore. A whore. Well, technically, I meant to say boar and it came out whore. Steve! Alice! Oh, out of... Ah! Jackie! Love that the boar is just like sitting there. Not phased whatsoever. I need y'all to die because I don't have much in the way of ammo. Okay. There's going to be more upstairs. I'm sure. I don't really need that, but... Yeah, I, I know I can scrap it, but I just don't need these things right now. Let's grab us something to eat. Top that off. And a drink. Toy picked. Uh, what can we move down to get it out of the... There we go. There we go. I'm going to say, it's probably something hidden. Water. Well, you know, I'll take the water. I don't want the hay bale, though. I was going to say, where did it go? Where do you go when you go? Let's refill it. Let's refill. Let's reload it. Oh, what are y'all... What are y'all blowing up? Like, seriously. What in the F are y'all out here blowing up? Oh, was there a car in the field that I just missed? There might have been. See another thing with a wrench? You can one hit these things. So instead of me standing here for 10 minutes collecting all this, because you know I'm going to, because I can't not collect the cobblestone and the concrete mix. We need it for our house. But I can just really speed up the process with a wrench. I think there had to have been a car out here. Maybe that's what they blew up. Where are they? I hear them. Oh, you know what? I don't need it right now. I'll leave it there. I was going to say, I need the white powder off the bones, but we actually don't right now. We'll need that later. I have no idea where these are. Like, I hear them. But I don't see them. I don't know. I'm just going to keep on keeping on. We got that already? Yes. Okay, let's grab this stuff up. I wouldn't mind having that meat from the boars, but they generally kill me before I can kill them. Maybe we'll clear the place out first, and then if we have enough bullets left after, we'll get the meat. Oh, you know where I bet they are? Is upstairs trying to get down to me. And look, watch. Bam! Just 
so much faster. My husband cracks up because on our multiplayer series, like, I prefer doing it the long way. And he's like, that makes no sense, babe. And I'm like, well, it just, I don't know. It feels better to me. Okay, where are you guys? Are you on the roof? Oh. oh. Now you're down there. Um. Oh, there you are. I need you to not break that. I need that. Yeah, I want this stuff. You breaking it is not going to be very helpful. We need to build with it. Ammo pile. Oh, we don't have a gun for that, but we will. We will have one soon. I feel horrible doing this with the dev tool wrench, but it just... I was thinking about it, and I'm like, it just makes sense on a series to do it with this, because... You know how... It's not always some days I could talk to y'all nonstop about everything and anything. No problems at all. Other days, it's commentary is not as easy for me. Um, we're gonna fall. There's usually really good loot in these. Maybe it's up there? I don't recall this kind of barn. Oh, it's probably up top. Let me grab all this. I think I missed some back here. Cut that already. Don't fall through. Don't fall through. Don't fall through. Throw some ramps down. Let's see what's in here. Not too shabby. Especially the hunting knife. I'll take that. That we will scrap. Oh, here I am looting with the wrong goggles on. It's generally how it works for me. Let's grab that. Anything behind there? No. Oh, you're over there getting all mad. Well, I'm not wasting my bullets on you, but I'll I'll say hi with an arrow, Cody. Where are you trying to go? I'm over here. Oh, oh! I was just going to say don't blow up the car. I hadn't got parts off it yet. At least I got the workbench already. Man, what a bunch of douches. I should have known they were down there banging on the car and I should have gone down there and cleared it out. That's my own fault for not being smart enough to do the things that I know they're going to do. Stupid zombies. Oh, hey, we have a better gun. Well, not really. We have another gun, but I wouldn't say better. Okay, let's drop that. Scrap that. Drop that, drop that. I'll put one of you up there to fill that up. I can sell that to the trader, but I don't see me going back to him anytime soon. I need a mining helmet. Do we have a mining helmet? We do. Okay, so I don't really need that. Okay, that's pretty much all I want to part with right now. I don't want to part with my stuffs. But I don't want to be so encumbered I can't walk either. Oh, where's the... Can I like... Um... Get the gun. Jump. Yeah, go. don't go out on there. I learned that the hard way. Because the moment you step on it, the whole thing's gonna go crashing down. But it's got such good amounts of stuff. Because this is what all the stuff you need to build the flagstone bricks for the beginning. And that's gonna come crashing down too. Uh, see? Should have gone for the concrete mix, not the cobblestone. There's the goodies. Um walk along here instead of doing ramps all the way across. Grab all this up. Teddy! Cody! Oh, sorry. I should have switched to my gun. I forgot you can hit the zombies with a wrench one time and it kills them too. That's a little bit too much cheaty for me though. I didn't even think about it when I was yielding my awesome wrench at them. Um, I will take that. I don't really need that. 
I mean, I know I need it later, but I don't need it now. Uh, take that. I don't really... I love the dies. Oh, wait. I can use that now, I think. Take you. Modify. Bam! Now we have brown. Brown knife! A brown knife! Steel chest armor. Uh, rebar. I've never used the rebar frames. I don't actually know. I'm not going to be encumbered with them. Can we scrap them? Um, I don't know what they're actually used for. I haven't had it. I guess I haven't got far enough to where I have to reinforce that far. Let's see. The steel chest armor is 9 armor rating. Heat resistant minus 1. Mobility minus 6. I like to be able to move around. But I don't think it would hurt that much. It's only six. It could be a lot worse. Okay, where is the ladder down? Okay, well I'm going to truck along and try and find us a good spot to build our home. So I will see you on the next episode. Thank you very much for watching. Y'all, oh wait, wait, wait. Y'all are very appreciated. We first got to get the whatever is hidden in here. It's always somewhere in here. Little zombie hands reaching in. There it is. Really? For that? I object. Oh, I am really making them mad, aren't I? Let's go ahead and... Uh... Oh, it's candy! Candy! And candy! And candy! Oh, wow. Triplets. Let's clear these up while I do my outro. Thank you very much for watching. Y'all are appreciated. Remember, when gaming, have fun, play hard, but in real life, be the change you wish to see in the world. Bye, y'all. No, Steve, you're supposed to be dead so we can do our outro. There you go. Bye, y'all.